Hi YouTube, this is uh, Pamwivers. Uh, this is going to be my uh, next little uh, experiment. This is a Connoisseur Models, uh, it's an O-gauge uh, sand wagon. Great Eastern Railway and LNER, so obviously it's a little bit out of the area where it should have been, but I thought nice little wagon to perhaps have a go at. Uh, these were used for uh, moving sand uh, out to the depots uh, to be used in the locomotives. So uh, this is uh, what you actually get. Um, it was a connoisseur model, so I bought it uh, at a show. Um, price on it was thirty-six pounds. I paid twenty. So uh, I see these models now are anywhere up to like 60 70 pounds so uh, looks like everything's there bar there is one little gap down here but hopefully it won't be anything too important um, and like I say that's a bag of white metal bits and one sheet of brass so we're gonna see if we can fabricate this and then we'll uh, show you a little bit as we're going through the build. I'll open it up and uh, read the old instructions. Okay. I think it's about seven, six or seven pages. Seven, eight, nine, eleven pages. So some quite a uh, good bit of bedtime reading but quite clear and concise on how to do it. So, well, there we are, so uh, this is going to be my challenge for the next day or two. Perhaps learning to read will be one of them, but we'll uh, come back to it in a while. See you later. Right, hi everyone. We've um, started to make a bit of headway. So, um, got the main part of the actual body put together. Quite, uh, quite a bit of work involved in this. Um, Obviously you've got the four sides, or the two ends and the two sides. Uh, soldered those together and then I had to bend the, fold these corner plates up. On the four corners. The sides have to be bent over like a U shape. Um, then a uh, nice little fiddly job. I don't know if we can just make out those little rings there. And then there's three of those each side. And three tie down rings there on the ends, both ends. A little bit there for where the couplings go in. And a little bit of detail there soldered around the edge. So uh, just bent up. Made these little wire handles on the corners. Uh, that would have been used for horse shunting. And these little straps on the sides. I have to solder those on. Um, trying to get used to them. Uh, solder you need to use uh, obviously I'm using a little bit too much there but like I say it's the first time I've done one of these so I think it's going together quite uh, quite well these uh, rings on the end they're slightly I don't know if you can just make out slightly proud and uh, just had a little bit of when I soldered them tucked a little bit of cardboard just up behind just to space them off the body a bit. So uh, obviously holding that up and hot soldering iron tips of my fingers are uh, suffering a bit. So but that's where we're to at the minute. Uh, what I did find is I've been using a chisel soldering tip. I had quite a fine soldering tip, but that gets the heat out a little bit better. Uh, seems to be working quite well so the uh, next thing to do is to make a start on all the uh, brake gear uh, and obviously the chassis bits next so we'll come back when we got a bit of that done we'll see you in a while hi everyone um, this here is uh, roughly two nights work um, to put make all this brake gear up and get that soldered on 
and uh, obviously make up the brackets for the hold the wheels, put the bearings in. Um, fiddly little bit there, little uh, strips going across had to be twisted to fit it. Um, but yeah, got the wheels a nice uh, freely moving. So, you can say roughly about two nights work, but quite enjoyable. Uh, running quite well, so we'll get a bit more of the break you're on, possibly a couple more evenings, and we might be there. But, uh, I'll leave you to it, see you in a while. All right, here we are. Here's another evening's work out of the way. Um, just fitted the um, axle boxes just here and the springs, and also put the brake levers on. A little bit of detail there and uh, fitted the white metal stanchions on the ends. They're starting to come together, it's going quite well. I'm quite pleased for the first attempt at one of these. Uh, we'll uh, come back again tomorrow and see if we can uh, get some more done. Thank you. Oh hi everyone, um, just thought uh, we would take a look at this uh, sand wagon, finally finished. Um, say, probably taken about 10 or 12 hours to build, quite involved. Um, obviously the first time doing one of these, so uh, yeah, quite pleased. Um, seems to run nicely on the tracks, uh, it's a model by Connoisseur Models and I did buy it second hand at a show, but uh, it's been quite enjoyable to put together. Um, I'll put a link on the uh, bottom of the video for Connoisseur models. I want you all to take a look if you're interested in brass O gauge kits. He's got some nice stuff there, so lovely instructions. Um, like I say, the first time I've done one of these, so uh, I think uh, for a first attempt, it turned out quite well. Soldering's a little bit messy in places. Uh, it's just a matter of uh, perfecting that. It's a nice fiddly detail to put on to it. Uh, it's got uh, even down to um, I don't know if you can see. You even had to make the links for the um, chain. Three links there. Soldered those together. So I think quite a quite a fiddly little thing, but. I think the end result looked quite good and uh, just to give you an idea that's the, uh, the actual finished kit Connoisseur models Grease and railways not really my area but uh, I was just more interested in doing the kit so we're gonna get uh, this is going to have a bath now, get it cleaned up, we'll get it painted and then hopefully we'll have that and the pannier tank running. But uh, anyway, thanks a lot for watching, comments appreciated and as I say, bye for now.